Well, potato chips have been one of my favorite foods all of my life. And the fried and even baked potato chips aren't all that healthy. And this version of dehydrated potato chips is one that is very delicious and it satisfies that craving for potato chips. I can attest to that from personal experience. They're very simple to make. All we do is we take a potato and you can either um, slice it in a, in a food processor or you can take a mandolin and on a very thin setting just take your potatoes and slice them as thin as you can so they're nice and limp. We're going to use about three pounds of potatoes. These have been already sliced and they've been soaked in distilled water and I covered the potatoes in, in soaking water and I let those soak for just a few hours and then drained off that soaking water which, which takes away all the starch of the potatoes. That's a very important thing to remember. If you have dehydrated potatoes, you may have run into that starchiness, but as Chris points out, the soaking process really helps eliminate that starchiness, brings it much closer to the finished product. In with our sliced potatoes, I like to put some sliced onion. So I've got a half of an onion here that I've already sliced up, and I'm just going to put that in there. Two-thirds of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Two-thirds of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then our spices that go in here, I've got two teaspoons of Celtic sea salt, two teaspoons of cumin powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne powder. And you know, Chris, these look much like a kettle chip, and it's probably because the, uh, the olive oil gives them a nice, nice look at the finished. It does. They're beautiful. And they're not as uh, greasy as a regular potato chip, though, but they have the, the flavor of a regular potato chip. Mm -hmm. The thinner that you can slice them, the better they're going to be. So we just toss all of these together. In the biggest bowl you have in your house, obviously. And you don't want to let these sit too long, because once that sea salt uh, gets on the potatoes, they start to lose their liquid, and you don't want to have a, um, a wet puddle in the bottom. So after I've tossed everything together, toss it very well because if one potato chip gets all that cayenne powder, somebody's going to have a very hot chip. Then you just take your dehydrator screen and we don't need any sheet on top of it, just the screen itself. And you can take a handful and you can even spread those around. This is where the family fun comes in. And you just spread those out. They don't have to be, you know, all separated. They can be on top of each other, but just so that they're um, going out to all edges. And you just do that until all the potatoes are gone. And when you put them in the dehydrator, I like to skip every other row so that they fit in there without having to, you know, when you slide it in, the potatoes don't fall off. So I just skip every other row. And I get about five or six trays of potatoes in there. They dehydrate then uh, about 12 to 16 hours. You can always just take one out and test it. That's the fun part too. Make yeah. sure that they're nice and crispy and keep them in an airtight jar or serve them immediately.